I'm Nathan Ogden. This is my wife Tracy and our daughters Oakley and Huntley. And we're at Ogden Ranch, and we are at least four generations of cattlemen. And uh, our children, uh, my grandfather was on this particular farm. My father raised cattle here, and now here we are. So right there, there's four, not counting my great grandpa that settled over in Madison County years ago. So it's in our blood. I mean, I grew up on a farm on a river, on the Kings River in Madison County, and it's just invaluable for kids to grow up doing this. It's kind of a dying breed. With two locations here locally, we're right at about 800 acres and uh, we run, we try to keep about 400 head of mama cows. Uh, 300 of those are commercial Angus cross cows and we run about, oh, 50 or so registered Angus mamas and, and raise bulls, breed bulls out of those. And we also have a little hobby herd of 35 or 40 bucking mamas. So, uh, you know, our, our fun we do, the girls are getting involved in is doing a little bucking bull stuff. And we bought the, the first two bulls uh, back in 2014 and they were futurity calves, kind of like what we're going to buck down here with the dummy on them. They were two-year-olds and uh, they really probably weren't supposed to make it to the big time and uh, find Jesus was good enough. And we, we named them Find Jesus just so uh, it's a blessing to be able to purchase a bull like that and wanted to use it as an opportunity to glorify God and it's turned into pretty good ministry. We do a, a Bible study when we go to the big PBRs with a lot of guys in the locker room with their families and uh, we did a baby dedication for one of the guy's kids a few weeks ago in Sioux Falls. Uh, two years ago out in Vegas we baptized one of the riders on the strip of Sin City right outside of uh, T-Mobile Arena in a casino pool. So, <laughs> we got lucky with those first ones. We, we got them pretty cheap and, and honestly, those first two paid for our first four bulls, you know, and uh, so you've got to be lucky enough to win some money to keep playing and keep going at it, you know. And it is, it's a lot of genetics. A lot of it is genetics. So you've got to really get involved and pay attention to that side of it. I think when, you, when people just want to get involved, I think it's really important to find the right people to get involved with that know something about it because why we love it so much is the people we've met. I think that's key. So I absolutely knew nothing about Buck and Bulls when, when I came here and just by being around it and getting involved and, you know, and enjoying it and working with the animals, trying to gentle them down and, and working them in the shoots, you know, starting them from, uh, from small to big. And the goal is to start when they're small. You know, we, we, we have the bulls and the cows. We raise our calves. And then we raise them up, we wean them. And then we go to bucking them. And the goal is, is to have one to reach all the way to the top and just, you know, be able to say, we done it. been itching to do something like this and trying to find an excuse to do it and, and COVID really gave it to us. So uh, when that hit, our phone started ringing off the hook about meat and uh, I said, it's time to go. <laughs> time to jump in and do it. Because we had a lot of people reaching out to us. I, you know, you always hope it'll do well, but um, I think many things we just kind of, <laughs> we take the leap and hope it does good. and. No, but we did, I think we have 60 appointments a year, something like that now, you know, so from eight to, I think last year we did 40 something by the time we got the butcher appointments. Social media was our way to let everybody know what we were doing. And, you know, we launched the website, people order online, they come pick up here. It's just worked really well. Um, and I think, I think we had to do that if we want to keep up for our kids when they take over, I think we've got to move with the time. The big hurdle about doing something like this was when you sell a quarter half or a whole, you can just take it to any custom butchering shop. But to do the retail deal like we do and to be able to sell to some restaurants that we've sold to, you have to have a USDA stamp, you know, and there's there's not many around and we partner with being our processing down in Winslow and uh, that allows us to do this. Without the USDA stamp, we couldn't sell by the cut. Well, even with our our pets, you know, uh, it's, it's, uh, I tell the kids, did you eat today? Yes, okay, then your, 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 your dogs, your cats, and your baby calf, everybody needs to eat. So, uh, you know, we try to make their, sure they're fed as good as we are, you know, because 
You can't starve a profit out of an animal is what my, my grandpa and great grandpa used to say. You'll never starve a profit out of one. And uh, that goes to, you know, having plenty of grass and pastures to eat, uh, having the right minerals with the sweet protos we feed in them. And, and every bit of it just goes to the, the end game and, and what kind of quality animal you have at the end. And, and obviously with our, our beef cells, our, our target is marbling. We definitely fatten our animals out on, on corn and, and you know, a five way feed with the goal of getting that marbling because that's where your flavor comes from. I tell, you, I tell everybody this is my retirement plan uh, just because nobody wants to retire and quit. So there's always work on the farm and uh, you know, cattle don't talk back. They'll kick the fire out of you, but they don't talk back. And they, you know, like I told you earlier, they, uh, they, they love you, especially when they go, you got a feed bucket in your hand, <laughs> you know? So that's the goal ultimately. And then hopefully one of the girls or both of them will want to do it someday. And uh, you know, we've got two beautiful farms, you know, and uh, places for them to build houses someday maybe. If we can get, this one says she's gonna live with us forever. But, uh, 